Cassie's in Australia to promote her documentary and she joins us now. Cathy, thanks very much for joining us on the show. I, I think it's fair to say it's been something of a hostile reception to the documentary in Australia. Has it been uniquely so? It has been uniquely so. In, in the rest of the world, we've actually had great reception to the film. Uh, just two weeks ago, I won the Women in Film Award in Los Angeles, uh, which the Women in Film Organization is trying to get more female filmmakers and writers and producers behind the camera. We've had a lot of success in other countries, so Australia is really the only place that we've had protests and petitions and bannings like this. Do you have an understanding as to why those protests are there? I do not. Uh, this is my first time visiting Australia. I'm curious what is different about Australia that makes this topic so polarizing and, and so fearful to people that they actually want to shut it down and silence it and pull it from theatres. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why, why there's so much resistance in Australia. Cassie, I think it could be to do with the fact that a couple of years ago our Australian of the Year was a mum who lost her only son at the hands of his father in a domestic violence incident. One woman is killed every week at the hands of domestic violence. It's, it's really on the agenda here in Australia. It's not tolerated and we're really trying to move forward and, and get on a path where women aren't dying. I think that is why your film has hit a nerve. And it was her son that passed? It was her son who was killed by his father. That's, I, I didn't know about that, but that is interesting because it, it shows that there are male victims of domestic violence. Sorry, that, that's the lesson you took from that.